Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. T to the Y to the M to the A R A. All right, today we're going to check to see what's going on in your energy. So Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. Remember, this is a general reading. If you want a personal reading, please check out beingsmart.com at the link in the description box below. All right, I pulled a few cards just to check to see what was going on so far. And we pulled the Nine of Pentacles with the Hierophant in the reverse and the Empress card. So I feel like somebody could be talking to their mother, having a conversation in reference to a situation that's um, going on with this Taurus. I feel like somebody is even calling their mom or reaching out, just trying to get some advice or some guidance on what do you what do you think I should do in this relationship or in this marriage or in this dynamic? Because maybe we're not seeing. Either y'all two are not seeing eye to eye or y'all two are possibly wanting to do something that don't seem traditional and maybe you are needing some type of support from your mother. Look, I have the lover's card coming out. So I feel like somebody is about to make a huge move because maybe, uh, maybe somebody feels unhappy. And they're thinking about doing something that's not traditional. I don't know. I just saw somebody want to cut their hair off and dye it blonde. Somebody's just asking their mother for advice on what do you think I should do? What's your opinion? I love this person. But something this route that we're about to take is just not traditional. And I really need your support on going this, taking this step. And somebody could be saying, well, I need you to go speak to your father. Ask your father, what do you think about this situation? Because maybe you're thinking about walking in. You're walking towards something that is kind of sketchy or it's not going to be easy, but I feel like this is what's going to make you happy because lately you haven't been feeling happy. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, something is involving a lot of people here. I feel like Sagittarius, you could be walking towards... Something you feel like something has been making your money very stagnant, or just you've been putting in the time and effort, but something that's just not happening. Like, I feel like you did this job or you did this task, and then it was something that you felt like will make you happy, but it turned out it's not the it's not what you thought it would be. So now you're thinking about either walking away, but you just want to get somebody's advice. You could be talking to a counselor. If this is somebody's marriage or relationship, you could be talking to a counselor or talking to a mentor or asking somebody what's their opinion on the situation before you walk away from something. I feel like you may have felt like you put a lot of time, years, and effort into this situation, but it's just not growing the way that you would like, and it's making you very unhappy. I feel like whatever this is, is bothering you, constantly having to defend yourself, stay on your ground, um, but you're just on your last leg. You're very fed up with the nine of wands coming out here. Number 99 could be important here. Look up that angel number. I feel like somebody could be having to call their... Someone is needing to call their father, call somebody, maybe ask them for support. This could be in reference to a child. Okay, so for somebody's relationship, Sagittarius, somebody feels like you are thinking about reaching out to maybe your child's father or another parent or extended person for reconciliation. This could be some type of male figure. So this is your child's father or your or your father, somebody you're thinking about working something out with this person because you want to truly have a serious commitment. Maybe you want this family unit to work out or y'all want to be back together. Y'all don't have any problems or you're just trying to get on the same page. This could be, I feel like this could be in reference to a child that is an earth sign. So towards Virgo Capricorn. I feel like everything you do, you do for your child. Not only are you doing something because it allows you to have more money, but you feel like maybe 
maybe your child has been unhappy lately. They could have been unhappy with school or unhappy with their friends, unhappy with their living situation. So now you're trying to reach out to this father, this emperor energy to see if they can talk to them. Or maybe y'all can work on some dynamics so they can heal their relationship. So that way this child can get back on the right path. And so this is why you're reaching out to your mother to get her opinion. So it's like, hey, I've been a flip or switch the energy, whatever way it fit. But I feel like somebody's saying, hey, I've been a single parent for this long. And I'm thinking about reaching out to his father to get his help. Or I've been doing this for so long. I need somebody's help with this child. Because now that he's grown into a teenager, he needs some type of advice. I can't raise a little boy. I can't raise him to be the man that he needs to be. So I'm thinking about reaching out to his father or seeing if we can work on this relationship so he can be here to support him. So he can support and guide our child. You feel like this is the only way that you can heal your son from the problems that he's going through because maybe he's having trouble. I just heard basketball. Somebody could play on the basketball team or play some type of sports, karate or something. I feel like you feel this is the only way that you can be able to heal your child or this will help is if, if he can fill that void of feeling like his father is walk, um, his father had walked out on him. Because it's like, I feel like this child has been battling with several different issues, but he don't really speak on it. With this darkness being here with the moon, I feel like he's battling with a lot of emotions, but he don't speak on it. Because I feel like somebody feels like their father walked out on them when they was a child when really... I feel like the the custodial parent knows the truth. Maybe something just was, yeah, I just grew apart, or something happened behind the scene that I feel like this child is just not aware of or does not know. And so, either you're ready to break it to him, or you want the father to come back into the picture and say something or speak on this situation. So you could be possibly going to go reach out to him and go talk to him, or you want him to like speak to his son and explain like, hey, this is why me and your mother didn't work out, or this is why this family dynamic didn't work out. And you're really thinking about, you're really thinking about com committing or reconciling with this person. So that way they can have some type of commitment with their son so they can work on their relationship because like you are really fed up. Maybe your child keeps doing something or getting in trouble in school or going through something or they to the point of like cops are getting called or juvenile or that the behavior just keeps becoming worse and you feel like hey i'm on my last leg i need to reach out to somebody so this is why you was probably talking to your mother trying to get this advice to ask her like what do you think i should do i really love my child but i'm really getting fed up and i don't know what else i need to do with him because he just does not listen he does not follow authority no matter what way i try to punish him or try to take electronics or something away from him. He just won't listen to me. And I really want to help him out. I've been praying. I took him to church. But nothing seems to be helping. Okay. Ooh, that was a lot to get out there. That was a lot. So what's going to be the obstacle here for Sagittarius? What's the obstacle here? I almost feel like it's taking a lot. I feel like this child is dragging his feet because he has so much anger with the eight of wands coming out in reverse. He's dragging his feet. He does not want to. This child is really not wanting to go. Lord, what's going on? <laughs> I'm getting the energy. This child really does not want to go with the eight of wands coming out in reverse. They're dragging their feet. And you're like, you want to do it one way or another. Like, you really having to, like, <laughs> this mom is, like, telling them. Like, I don't care. We, <laughs> as you see, she's behind his back. And she's telling them. I don't know, fussing them out or saying, like, you want to go talk regardless. I don't care what you want to do. But he's trying to drag his feet. He really does not want to even do this. So it seems like it's kind of becoming a fight. Somebody's trying to fight you on this. I feel like this child's like, I don't want to talk to that man. Why wasn't he here? Well, he should have been here. Why did he walk out on us or something? This was coming out. So this kind of, this is the obstacle is that your child is not going down without a fight. I feel like he's doing things and reacting in certain type of ways just to get your attention. And it's like, you're telling him like, hey, I'm fed up. You want to go talk regardless. So y'all taking the action to go reach out to him to go talk to this father. How is the father going to respond to this situation? How's this person going to respond? Remember, this is you or somebody in your energy. If it's not you, Sagittarius, this, this could be somebody in your energy. 
I feel like this father's response is warning, like, are you coming around for money or do you have a hidden agenda? Why, after all this time, you're coming around now? What is it that you want? I feel like this is what... You're coming with mutual love and respect. It's like, hey, I don't have no animosity or nothing against you. I just really want something. I'm, I'm just bringing this child towards you. I'm bringing this child towards you so you can really help. Because he needs somebody, some leadership or, a role, or somebody in his head to talk to him or encourage him or something. I'm really coming to you on some on some partnerships type stuff. Can we work together as parents and co-parent and get on the right track? And it's like this person, he's up there just wandering behind the scenes. Like, is there an agenda? Do you want something out of him? Are you trying to get some more money or what is it? But you're like, no, I'm coming to you, bringing this child to you. Just so bringing our child to you so you can help him out because I'm really struggling here. I know that he can be a great person with the star coming out, but he needs, I feel like this is just a missing piece that this is what's missing in his life. And I feel like you and Thule noticed that this is what's missing, that he misses his father. His father could live all the way across country or live in another state. And this is what's kind of not helping this relationship. So you're taking your child to him and saying, hey, I need you to mentor him. He going to come to your house for the summer or something. Please speak life into him. I cannot raise him to be a man. Can you help him out? And it's like, you're not going down without a fight. Like, I don't want anything from you. I'm not asking you for anything. I just want you to mutually help our son because we both love him. Okay, what's serving Sagittarius in this situation? What serve you is that you have you really don't have no emotions for the you really don't have no emotions for your child's father or whoever this person is, Queen of Cups in the reverse. You don't have no emotion for him. You're not trying to argue a fight, will of fortune in the reverse. You don't want anything out of him. You just out of him. Temperance right here, your energy. You just really want to get on the same page. I feel like you keep offering like a peace offering, a love offering. Like, hey, I'm not asking you for no money. I'm not asking you for anything else. I just truly want you to speak life into him. Speak to him. Coach him. Say something. Something seems to be missing. So he can stop clashing or fighting with everybody. So he can stop fighting with his friends. Stop fighting with his teachers. Stop getting in trouble. Like, somebody's child is really, I feel like it's a teenage son. He's really acting out or maybe a male or something. He's really acting out because he's missing that father figure. And you just notice intuitively that this is what's missing in his life. So you're like, Queen of Cup, what's serving you, you really don't have no feelings for this man. You're not trying to play the, oh, can I call you? Can we meet up on the side? None of that type games. Like, hey, I just want you to help our son. I want you to help our child. So you're really trying to bring some type of balance back into your life or like make things... I feel like everything is just truly just about your child. That's all you want to do. You want to pour into your child. You want to show love to your child. You're showing how much you care about them. Love and support. Okay, what's the outcome here? The chariot. You're very determined. I thought your, um, your child's father could be a water sign. So this could be with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. You're very determined. I feel like you take <laughs> I don't know if you're going on a road trip. You put your child in his car and you pull up to his house or go over there. Or you call him reaching out. But I feel like this is the final thing that's going to help out. Knight of Cups in the Knight of Cups in the... In the upright, I feel like you're even, you're saying, hey, I don't mind traveling to your house. I don't mind putting in the effort. Whether you're going to come or not, like, I'm going to come to you. You may, you can stay right there. I will bring him to you. I feel like, you're like, so, um, y'all can even meet up or go to dinner or something, but you're willing to bring your child to him. I feel like the outcome is going to be good with the world card coming out. You're really telling him, like, this won't be no tricks. We're not going to connive. I'm not trying to set you up with nothing. I'm trying, not trying to serve you with no paperwork. I'm not trying to put you on no child support. I'm not trying to do anything to you. I just want to truly just 
I'm, everything I'm doing is for my child. Everything I'm doing is for my son. And I feel like you're calling him and you're speaking and saying, hey, let's let bygones be bygones. Let's let the old baby mama, baby daddy drama go. We don't have to, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Somebody could be getting sick or nose is running or maybe your nose is becoming stuffy because that just came out of nowhere and I'm feeling hot. Somebody could be battling some hot flashes lately. But I feel like someone is truly saying, you could be calling your child's father, reaching out to him and saying, like, let's squash the beef. We aren't young anymore, how we used to be when we was younger. We don't have to have any problems. I don't care if you have a girlfriend or you're married or anything. I just truly want you to help our son. And this is going to turn out good with the world with the world card and the upright. I feel like y'all going to have success. Okay, what else here? What else? Anything else to add, spirit? Career, roof chakra, healing. I feel like it got to the point that what your child was doing, what your child was doing was kind of affecting your job. Maybe somebody just kept getting a phone call up to the school, like come up to the school. Your job, your child got in trouble in school, and now this is going to help y'all. The outcome is that y'all want to restore or heal this situation or heal this relationship because this was what you feel like was missing in your child's life. Also, with me seeing the balloons here, this reminds me of a child. I feel like this child is going to release all this anger. He's going to let go and surrender, release all this pain, and because now something is beginning resolved. And now you feel a lot more secure, grounded, and stable with the root chakra coming out here over this situation. The letter B could be significant. First, middle, last name, location. I don't know. I just heard Bowie, Merlin. Something with a B is significant. Maybe somebody's favorite color is blue. And so... Your son or your child is going to release this energy and there is no re regrets anymore. Now you feel like your child has the proper guidance and support that he needs, guidance, assistance, and support that he needs. Now that you, look, family, your son is happy now. Look at that. Happy and now he has faith and now you learn to let something go. Y'all both continue to look parents. All because your child has a parent in their life now. I feel like y'all are able to get on the same page and raise this baby. Even though I feel like this is for a teenage child. It's because you chose to, like, I feel like you grew. And you chose to reach out that olive branch and reach out to that parent and say, hey, let's let bygones be bygones. Even though y'all may have went through a lot in the past. I feel like at this point, you feel like, hey, it's all about my child. It's all about my son. So I'm going to let this go. Just so we can be the proper parents to this child. I don't care if he moved on. He got somebody else. He's in a new commitment. I, I don't care about none of that. I just want to heal my child, work on my child and heal him. And I feel like this allowed you to, because of all of this, because of your child going through this situation, this allowed you to let go of some pain and release this release this pain. It also allowed your child to have more faith in like life in general, not feeling like, hey, why when somebody had... Um, when somebody's having an event, I'm the only one without a father there when it's time for the father-son dance or the father-daughter dance or father events, or I can't call my father or something. This also, I just heard jail. Somebody's father could be in jail, and it, now you're reaching out to talk to him so he can speak to his father and really hearing the truth about what happened with this situation. And your child is just receiving a lot of support and guidance right now. He's receiving proper um, mentorship that he needs or just speaking to his father is allowing him to realize that, hey, it's filling in that gap. And maybe you are able to get your child into counseling now. And he's learning to let go a lot of sorrow and release this pain and anger that he had. De dealing with depression, dealing with sadness, dealing with pain. Holding on to this feeling like he was just in this situation alone and all because he was missing his father. Somebody's name could start with an N, first, middle, last name. K. Kyle. Keith. Keisha. Kion. Something. Letter E. First, middle, last name. Somebody's birthday can be in the month of May or your birthday can be on December 5th. 666, look that up and see what that means. Angel number. As well as the letter I. First, middle, last name. All right, let's see. We're going to pull one angel message or pull an angel message before we close out this reading.
Okay, as far as Angie messages, Sagittarius, right now you need to detox your friendships. Um, it says your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending your time with. So be discerning about your associations and your relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring and generous and supporting. So maybe while you were going through this situation, uh, people really didn't understand you, didn't listen to you. You couldn't vent to people. So they're telling you, be careful of your friends, detox your friendships. If you're going through a struggle and you really feel like, hey, I have nobody to talk to. I can't talk to people about my problems or something. Then maybe that's just not the front for you. If y'all really, if y'all just there for the us, but y'all can't be there when y'all are really having hard times. Then maybe you need to reevaluate your circle. And be careful with who you're spending your time with. Be discerning about who you're associating yourself with and be discerning about the relationships. Also, they are telling you to block out distractions. Maybe you're being distracted a lot. So your life purpose and other priorities need your undivided attention. You could have been distracted, maybe, when your child was going through these problems. But once she was able to block out the distractions, you're, you were able to realize that, hey, this is deeper. Maybe in the past, like a few things had happened and maybe you didn't pay it any mind. You just attribute to... That's just him being him. He just always has an attitude problem. He's always upset. He's always in his room. But really, when you blocked out the distraction, you was able to realize that, hey, this is deeper. And I feel like there's something else there. And you were able to recognize that, hey, this is due to them feeling like they were the problems. I, they were the problem. This is why my father walked out. Or this is why this person wasn't there. You were able to block out the distractions and see, hey, um, something deeper is going on here. And also, you had pay yourself first. So make sure you are paying yourself first. When you earn your money, um, it's, it's nothing wrong with savings. So make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have savings to invest in your present and your future. So they're telling you to make sure you are saving your money, okay? Pay yourself first. All right, that's all I have. If anything resonated, don't forget to thumbs up the video, and I'll see you next time.